man, let's go ahead and get into this rundown. What we got? What we got? Man. Uh, and I was kind of teetering and like, you know, what to kind of start with and what to kind of It's go a lot, for. man. We we like got some gumbo, it's, man. It's, it's, we it's got a, some of them mama's yeah, cooking on the gumbo. We got some of them mama's cooking going on. Uh, y'all going to see Kwame <laughs> down there. But uh, I want to start with uh, Juneteenth. Uh, the Senate passed a bill to make Juneteenth a national holiday. And actually, an uh, article that I actually read, it said it. It, it didn't take any time. It quickly went through. You know what I'm saying? Like quick. You know what I'm saying? And so this is two sides to the thing because I've seen people on my time. Oh, my gosh. You know, we finally got a national holiday. What's up? And, and actually, if people, if you do your research, Juneteenth was actually, you know what I'm saying, celebrated in other states. You know, it's actually a holiday in, in, in a few other states. I'm not sure, you know, how many states actually. But you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like. Oh, this is a, another gesture, right? So you you from Memphis, right? M town. Been here yeah. your whole life, for sure. You know, I mo- most of my life. You know, we moved when I was a baby, and moved, right. But but when we moved back, I was in elementary school still. Yeah. Long as I can remember, in my good fellow's voice, as long as I can remember. <laughs> yeah. We Douglas Park, right? Yeah. Juneteenth. Yeah. It's been going on like we've been celebrating right. Juneteenth. The rest right. of you niggas need to catch up. Yeah. So basically, even you're we, just then we have a festival. Or yeah, like we like but, downtown. But basically, we just got another day off of work, essentially. Pretty much, if, if that's what it ends up being. Pretty much. But we talked. Was it? I don't know if it, was, it wasn't the last rundown. Maybe the rundown before last, where they were celebrating, commemorating the the burning of the massacre of totally Black up. Wall Street again. Yeah. No, no type of compensation given to. The survivors, and it's three of them who are still alive, actually survived, who mm-hmm. were there when it happened. Nothing done for them or the families of those people. Uh, still nothing with the student loans, which affect a lot of us because we were sold the bill of good about mm-hmm. go go to college, get your degree. And like, I got three. I right. can't do nothing. Yeah. You know, um, no, no reparations talk. Like, we didn't even, what happened to the George Floyd crime bill? That that like he that we don't want to rush. It's we want to make sure it's not anything in rushed. Yeah. We want to make sure that we make the right. Mm. But now a holiday that we can get off work. Holiday. And again, but what is it doing to? Uh, and, and you know what? I was I, I we we didn't. But I I bring them up because uh we're we're in the rundown. I was going to like have them as topics, but because we're talking about this, I um. I had screenshot them because I was going to send you to them. Did you hear about what happened in Minneapolis? Minneapolis? No. They were protesting, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, so check this out. It was a guy who actually killed uh, somebody um, in 2016. James Field, a Trump-loving Nazi, he murdered uh, Heather Heyer at the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. Mm-hmm. This was in 2016, Sunday. He used the same method where he drove his car into a high in, in a high speed into a crowd of peaceful protesters. He ended up killing. Um, he ended up killing. Uh, the lady he hit and then three other people. Uh, one of the guys said that. Uh, it said when he first heard the vehicle driving toward a group at high speed, it smashed into one of the protesters parked cars, which hit a woman sending her flying several yards into a pole. Three other people suffered life, I mean, suffered non-life threatening injuries. Hmm. This was Sunday. Hmm. Okay. Did this happen Sunday in Minneapolis? Um. And, and and so again, like we're still experiencing it, and it says woman dies after driver hit, hits crowd in Minneapolis, and the group was gathered there to protest protest police brutality. This is still going on, but we're getting a holiday. Hey, uh- you know what I'm saying? Uh, stuff been happening in Minneapolis, yeah, ain't? yeah. And and then it, it was it was it was a it was a it was a video out of uh, um okay in Maryland, and so you can see this. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to post it, mm-hmm. but I I was gonna screenshot. I mean, I screenshot. I was gonna text it to you, but it said that uh they were kneeling and deploying tasers on black teenagers to enforce a vaping ban. Hmm. So now somebody's vaping, right? Okay, again, you find them citations, send them to jail, whatever, but this is still going on. You give us a holiday. Yeah. 
and 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 that's that's the whole deal about this man like you can say okay these are small wins but we are in 2021 this is this what is what win though this is not 95 or 85 like just from people other people perspective like they look at oh we got to we they they're finally giving us our just due but i'm like we always celebrated juneteenth you know, so especially in Black City, like Memphis and stuff, we've yeah, always had definitely. stuff downtown or people mm-hmm. here and there, you know, kind of doing Memphis stuff. Memphis in May, where we always exactly. celebrating yeah. uh, with African April. Yep, African You know April. what I'm saying? Like, we we celebrate black culture here in this city, which is a predominantly black city. Yeah. But, dude, it, it kind of brings me a... Uh, it's wild, bro. And I know this wasn't on the topic, but did you hear about Kevin Hart and Bill Maher kind of was into it? I saw him make a statement, but I was like, I didn't know so where it was stemming from. Basically, he made a comment because he's talking about what we're talking about. And mm-hmm. so Bill Maher took it literally and took it all the way to the left. And it's like, oh, well, y'all don't have to drink out of colored water fountains anymore. And you're not being sprayed with fire hoses or having dogs sicked on you anymore. But Kevin was saying, like, we still got to teach financial literacy because black people are so behind. Like, you started ahead. Yeah. You're already ahead. And so the thing mm-hmm. is... The idea that he he said the idea that like 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 white women could be at black men like cussing them out and doing that because they know it's no consequence. Mm-hmm. The idea that police can kill us constantly and it's no consequence. Yeah. The idea that this stuff like this guy can kill people. He did it in Charlottesville, yeah. North Carolina, and then you you end up all the way in Minneapolis. Five years? No, wait, twenty sixteen. 2021 is that five years five years, yeah. five years later you do the same thing and, and it's no consequence hmm. and so like you said it's more and when you sent me the message last night you know like i was just like damn like right I, that's all i can say is like right. again more <laughs> representation. representation no legislation yeah. and you say oh well they made in the hot no but that's not legislation you're not changing anything no. You're just giving people another day off. Yeah, taxes ain't finna go down, right? It's basically saying even if in the back room, you know what I'm saying. You say with the other people and something like that. Yeah, let's let's give them a holiday. You know what I'm saying. Let let them keep, let's keep the checks coming. Give them their holiday. Give them they just do. Make them feel important so that we you know we we don't have to worry I mean, about all this other stuff kind of going on. Keep it presidential. <laughs>